Ohio lawmakers have already passed a law to decriminalize skipping school. But how are schools dealing with the issue? New this morning, nine on your side's Lisa Smith visited Northwest local schools, and it has a unique program that's gaining attention. It looks and feels a little like a courtroom. So you're saying marijuana just ended up in your shoe and you didn't realize it? But really, it's a second chance. Referred students and parents come before me. Um, we talk about what the barriers are, why the child isn't going to school. This is a diversion program, or Safe Council, a collaborative effort between Northwest local schools, Hamilton County Juvenile Courts, and others to address truancy and other issues. All the procedures that you see out here, the process, the intervention, the meeting with the family is all unofficial. That means no juvenile record. Admit the charge and work to resolve the issue, be it truancy or something else. What steps did you all take when you found out that she had been smoking marijuana? As of now, Northwest local schools are the only district in Hamilton County doing this program, but more districts will likely follow. We want to work with the Cincinnati public school system. School administrators say truancy isn't the real issue. Many times it's just the symptom. We do have resources that we can help them with and put things in place to help them not only deal with their child's education, but to deal with the obstacles that they're facing in life itself. The program has a more than 80% success rate. Lisa Smith, nine on your side. Well, the numbers don't lie there, 80% success yeah. rate, so it's a, showing to be a good program. Lisa, thank you. Look